Hello, welcome back. Still to come today, why this weekend is crucial when it comes to shopping. And if you fancy catching a movie in a moment, we're showing you the best on offer. First though, our spirit of beauty competition is really hotting up. Our finalists have had confidence coaching, modelling lessons, and finally, Glenn Kinsey from Positive TV has given them a crash course on how to be a TV presenter. Here's how they got on. Good morning, ladies. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Congratulations on coming this far. Right, my name's Glenn. Uh, we're going to throw you straight in the deep end in the studio, talking to camera about yourself for one minute. Hello. Thanks. Hi, I'm Katie Holbrook, I'm 23 years old. I was born in January, so I'm an Aquarius. Um, what else do I do? I, uh... <laughs> um, I've got um, a pet kitten called Lucky. I have a dog called Tyler, who's our second child. That's all I've got to say, thank you. That's very kind, thank you for your time. Good morning. <laughs> Let's talk then a little about um, presenting so we can sort of fast track this. There might be a million people watching you at home or six or seven million I guess in the case of GMTV but there's only really one person watching you at a time and that's the person sat in their living room and they all tend to be seeing this of you so it's quite intimate so you don't have to perform you don't have to sparkle too much you just simply got to be you. Well I'll tell you what we're going to do next we're going to work with you individually um, with autocue and auto cue or a prompting system is what we've got on the cameras here. But the camera lens is just behind those words. Now, if you look at the lens uh, like that, you'll look like you've taken something. So you need, to, <laughs> you need to look back into the lens and focus behind those words, if you like. Just as you would if you're looking into someone's eyes. If you imagine anyone watching you at home is actually generally focusing on your eyes, as you would do with a person. Hi, Jax. Hi there. How are we doing? Very well, thank Where you. Where would you like me? Right. Okie doke, you're going to be looking this way, so this camera here. As in whole body um, this way and yes, all Yes, please, yeah. Yep. All delivered to this camera here in five, four. Big smile, here we go. And still to come, we have the boys from Blue, so calm yourselves, ladies. But first, the incredible story of the twins separated at birth. Find out how the events of their lives are spookily similar. Now, we all know we should do more exercise and that keeps... we'll just talk about that. You look like Tommy Cooper. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Savile. Yeah. Well, Jimmy Savile, yeah, thank you. Now then, now then. Let's <laughs> have another go. This is probably the hardest thing you could ever have to do, but I think you can all do it, and uh, it's a lot of fun, and the buzz is tremendous. So you're literally going to take the place of Lorraine, if you like, for doing these little mini shows. <laughs> Hello there. Now, coming up on today's show, he played Dozy Sergeant Troy in Midsummer Murders, but Daniel Casey has swapped crime fighting for firefighting, and he'll be telling us all about that a bit later on. Well, we'll be finding out about more about how the treatment went later on, but first I'm joined by Olivia Midgley. Hello. Hiya. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, so, Olivia, you've got great A-level results. Yep. That's it for me. I'm back on Monday, but Ben and Jen are here today on Entertainment Today, tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> OK, thank you. We're off there. <laughs> They were good. They were excellent, weren't they? They were scarily good. Lots mm. more information about that TV training course on the website, gm.tv. I thought the girls did really, really well.